If you're a woman, I need to ask you something that no one probably ever taught you properly. Have you ever looked at your vaginal discharge and wondered if what you're seeing is normal or if it's a sign that something is seriously wrong? If you've ever felt confused, worried, or even embarrassed about this completely normal part of being a woman, you're definitely not alone. This is one of the most common concerns I hear in my gynecology practice, yet it's rarely discussed openly. The truth is, your vaginal discharge is like a window into your reproductive health. It can tell you incredible amounts of information about your hormones, your fertility, and your overall well-being. After years of treating thousands of women, I've realized that most women are navigating this completely in the dark, often misinterpreting normal changes as signs of infection, or worse, missing real warning signs that need immediate attention. That's why today we're going to have an honest, comprehensive conversation about vaginal discharge. I'm Dr. Sarah, and I'm going to walk you through what different colors, textures, and timing of discharge actually mean, and then give you clear guidelines on when you should be concerned versus when everything is perfectly normal. Let's start by understanding what healthy discharge looks like and why it changes throughout your cycle. Normal discharge throughout your cycle. Understanding your normal baseline. First, let's establish what normal looks like, because every woman's normal is slightly different. Healthy vaginal discharge serves important functions. It cleans your vagina, maintains pH balance, and provides lubrication. The amount, color, and texture change predictably throughout your menstrual cycle due to hormonal fluctuations. Right after your period, days 1 to 5, you'll typically have little to no discharge. Your estrogen levels are low, so your vagina produces minimal secretions. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. Pre-ovulation, days 6 to 9. You'll notice a small amount of discharge that's usually creamy white or slightly yellow. It might feel sticky or tacky to the touch. This is your body preparing for potential fertility. Approaching ovulation, days 10 to 14. This is when discharge becomes most noticeable. As estrogen peaks, your discharge transforms into what we call fertile cervical mucus. It becomes clear, stretchy, and slippery, often compared to raw egg whites. You can literally stretch it between your fingers. This indicates peak fertility. After ovulation, days 15 to 28, progesterone takes over and discharge typically becomes thicker, creamier, and white or pale yellow. The amount usually decreases and it feels stickier. This continues until your next period begins. These cyclical changes are not only normal, they're signs of a healthy, functioning reproductive system. Discharge colors and what they mean. Clear or white discharge. This is the gold standard of normal. Clear discharge usually indicates you're well hydrated and your hormones are balanced. White discharge, especially if it's not accompanied by itching or burning, is typically normal, especially in the second half of your cycle. Slightly yellow discharge. Light yellow discharge is usually normal, especially if you're not experiencing any other symptoms. However, if it's bright yellow or accompanied by a strong odor, itching, or burning, this could indicate a bacterial infection that needs treatment. Green discharge. This is never normal and almost always indicates an infection. Green discharge often suggests a bacterial infection, like trichomoniasis, which is sexually transmitted and requires antibiotic treatment. See a healthcare provider immediately if you notice green discharge. Gray discharge. Gray discharge is concerning and often indicates bacterial vaginosis or other infections. If you notice gray discharge, especially with a fishy odor, schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider promptly. Red flags, when to seek help immediately. Sudden changes in odor. While vaginas have a natural, mild scent, sudden strong odors, especially fishy, metallic, outside of menstruation, or foul smells can indicate infections that need treatment. Itching, burning, or pain. Discharge accompanied by significant itching, burning during urination, or pelvic pain is not normal and suggests infection, allergic reaction, or other conditions requiring medical attention. Unusual texture. Cottage cheese-like texture often indicates a yeast infection. 
frothy or foamy discharge can suggest trichomoniasis. Both need proper diagnosis and treatment. Heavy, persistent bleeding. While some spotting can be normal, heavy bleeding outside your regular period, especially if accompanied by pain, needs immediate evaluation to rule out serious conditions. Changes that don't resolve. If you notice changes in your discharge that persist for more than a few days and can't be explained by where you are in your cycle, it's worth discussing with a healthcare provider. Maintaining healthy vaginal balance. Proper hygiene practices. Wash only the external vulva with warm water and mild, unscented soap. Never douche or use harsh products inside the vagina. Your body maintains its own healthy pH balance. Clothing choices. Wear breathable cotton underwear and avoid tight-fitting synthetic materials that trap moisture and heat, which can encourage harmful bacterial growth. Lifestyle factors. Stay hydrated, eat a balanced diet rich in probiotics, manage stress levels, and get adequate sleep. All of these support healthy vaginal flora. Your vaginal discharge is not something to be ashamed or worried about. It's a normal, healthy part of being a woman. By understanding what's normal for your body and recognizing when changes might need attention, you can take control of your reproductive health with confidence. The most important thing is knowing your own normal patterns. Keep track of changes throughout your cycle, trust your instincts when something feels different, and never hesitate to seek professional guidance when you have concerns. Remember, healthcare providers see these concerns every single day. There's nothing embarrassing about taking care of your health, and you deserve clear, non-judgmental answers to your questions. What was most helpful for you in today's discussion? Have you noticed patterns in your own cycle that now make more sense? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your experience might help another woman feel less alone. If this video gave you valuable information, please like and subscribe to Women's Health 360 for more honest, science-based conversations about women's health. This information is for educational purposes only and should not replace professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Every woman's body is different, and if you have concerns about your vaginal health, please consult with a qualified healthcare provider for personalized evaluation and care. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.